Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go on this Tuesday. And of course, we are all just counting down the days now until Christmas. And in fact, it's less than a week away. Of course, some folks are going to be traveling. Other folks trying to get those last minute Christmas items, a little last minute Christmas shopping, weather factoring into all of that. And the weather forecast today, Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, still looking good. But again, Thursday into the weekend, as we've been talking about, still looks pretty variable with that opportunity of rain and storms. But the timeline on the rain and storms with the newest data coming in today is changing. So this is important new information I will be passing along over the next few minutes and of course through the hour as well. This is also important. This would be today, Tuesday, a little bit more in the way of high level cloud cover kind of filtering in that thin cirrus cloud cover, but it will be kind of pumping the brakes on the temperature, so to speak, topping out right around 60. And the southerly winds today, they are returning as opposed to that kind of cooler northerly wind today. Again, we'll have a warming southerly wind as we go through the afternoon. But it was cold out the door this morning. These were your morning lows. And in fact, we even had some 20s up along the Red River Valley. And again, you can even see locally here in the Metroplex, Denton was down to 28 degrees, frosty cold this morning. And in fact, even McKinney, up in Collin County, flirting with the freezing mark as well. Elsewhere in Tarrant and Dallas County, generally mid, mid upper 30s. So again, cold out the door, turning again cool as we go through the afternoon. So radar quiet in North Texas, in the Southern Plains. Simply put, as we go through the day today, uh, not a lot going on in our neck of the woods. If you are going to be traveling nationally off to the Northeast, another day, an opportunity of some windswept snow showers there. Uh, nowhere near as impactful with weather up in the Northeast today. Obviously, they had rain, they had flooding, they had severe weather snow, all of the above yesterday. But again, still a little bit of active weather. Uh, otherwise, most of the nation quiet outside of the West Coast. You can see rain, even a little bit of thunder on the West Coast. And as it turns out, that is our next weather maker making landfall out there again, bringing them the active weather. But eventually by Thursday into the weekend, it will be bringing us in North Texas active weather as well. You can see the area of counterclockwise spin, really two pieces of energy here. They're going to get intertwined as we talked about yesterday. And again, really two pieces of those will be coming out uh, as we go through again Thursday and then into the weekend, giving us at least two decent opportunities of rain and storms. But the timeline on this has changed overnight. You can see the storm still out across parts of Southern California. I'm skipping ahead now to Thursday. And you can see as we go through Thursday, Thursday late, an opportunity of some rain, some scattered showery activity around. And it clears out mostly now as we go through Friday. I think Friday afternoon turns out okay. And then as we get into Friday night, Saturday, early Sunday morning, here comes one more opportunity of rain and storms. Sunday, of course, is Christmas Eve day, where yesterday it looked kind of wet, kind of unsettled. Again, the timing is sped up, so I think now it's mainly going to be a Saturday deal. And again, Sunday, Christmas Eve day, turns out okay. Of course, this can still change some as we go forward in time, just like it changed some overnight. Uh, but again, this is the latest timeline. This would be Thursday and a very early Friday, basically a break in the action Friday afternoon. Here we come into Saturday, and this is where we may have a few thunderstorms around too. A few thunderstorms, not impossible as we go through Saturday. I get into very early Sunday. Rainfall projections still looking pretty healthy, especially from the Interstate 35 corridor off to the east. But again, a lot of locations picking up anywhere from a half an inch to right around an inch to potentially even more than that. Again, the further off to the east you get. Otherwise, today, again, with some of that increasing high-level cloud cover, again, temperatures will be held down some 50s and some 60s. It's going to be a pretty dry day as well, right? Humidity, the dew point numbers here, only in the 30s. So, again, the air mass itself is going to be extremely dry. You'll notice that as we go through the day. And if you're making any kind of evening plans, if you have to do some last-minute shopping, we're dry. Again, temperatures through the 50s, so kind of a chilly evening. And then chilly overnight, not quite as cold as last night with some of that cloud cover lingering through the overnight. A lot of us in the 40s. And then we'll do more in the way of mid, mid, upper 60s for tomorrow. A few locations tomorrow may even be flirting with that 70 degree mark. So it's a warming trend over the next couple of days. There's that opportunity of rain Thursday, late Thursday, ending Friday. And the next opportunity of rain and storm Saturday, ending early. Sunday morning, and there's your Christmas day really looking good.